today we're going to be talking about what's included in a mortgage payment and how to calculate that payment. I'm Katie Zaromsky with Zaromsky Realty Group. I've got Bob Friel here with me with Friel Good Mortgage. What's happening all? <laughs> and today we're going to look at a real life case study. We're going to break down mortgage payments for you and stay tuned to the end because you don't want to miss our interest saving tips. That is true. So one of the main questions that not only first time home buyers, but every home buyer really wants to know what is the all in payment when they're buying a house, right? It's true. And what we found is oftentimes those calculators that you find on, you know, some of those large search engines may not be giving you the entire full picture, which is the carrying cost for the property, like taxes, insurance, any homeowners insurance dues. Do you need mortgage insurance on the property? Huge question. And of course, you know, ultimately the biggest piece of your payment usually is the principal and interest portion of that payment. So before we dive into the official case study information, let's give you a little bit of background on this couple. So they were a retired couple that were moving here from Illinois. They were teachers. They were living on a fixed income of $65,000 a year. Um, so we did a couple really great things. Kate, Katie basically got them the house of their dreams within their budget for one. But one of the biggest questions that they had was, should I put 20% down? because they really wanted to avoid mortgage insurance. And one of the questions jumping back to that down payment is what's a typical down payment nowadays? The typical down payment in the US is 20% down. Do you need that 20% down? No. Correct, <laughs> you do not need 20% down. The average down payment really within the last couple of years um, has been right around that six or 7% mark. And is what we're seeing now. Which if you do your budget right, it will take you a little bit time to obviously save that amount of money, but that shouldn't deter you from, you know, having them those goals to become a homeowner. No, I agree. You want to set big goals to have a homeowner because if you watch any of our other videos, we help you with your budget too. One of the negatives to not having like the 20% down, which is what most people fear, or, you know, maybe your parents told you, Hey, you need 20% down. So you do not have mortgage insurance. Well, that's what exactly our clients from Illinois had mentioned. They didn't want mortgage insurance on their property. But the fact of the matter is, how much was their mortgage insurance? $45 a month, that was it. Yeah, so the key takeaway there is don't let the lack of 20% down deter you from becoming a homeowner and finding that house of your dreams. Because here's the kicker, mortgage insurance on a conventional loan will fall off over a period of time. So once you have that 20% equity stake in your property, that small amount of mortgage insurance, whatever that factor might be, will eventually fall off, reducing your housing payment. So you might be asking yourself, what is mortgage insurance? Mortgage insurance is an insurance policy that protects the mortgage lender from the borrower's defaults on payments because you have not put that 20% equity stake in the property. Okay, so now Bob, let's dive into this case study because I wanna see a real life example here. Exactly, so if you recall, Katie, our clients had that budget of 400,000 and they were selling their property in Illinois mm -hmm. and they were gonna net roughly $85,000 on that property. Now the big thing, they make $65,000 a year from their pensions from retirement, so they are living on a fixed budget. So we wanted to make sure that we stuck their housing payment within a manageable kind of striking distance that they basically forecasted themselves so that they can have that really, really enjoyable retirement. So what we actually did while we were kind of figuring out uh, what we wanted to do with their loan product, we decided to give them the opportunity to look at putting 20% down versus putting 15% down and keeping that extra 5%, which was $20,000. Now with taking that $20,000 and eliminating any debt that showed up on their credit report, which by monthly, it was about $1,000 a month if I remember correctly, yep. it freed up $870 in cash flow each month. The key takeaway when we're kind of analyzing your finances for what product that, that suits your needs, it's gonna be a, kind of a song and a dance between what your current debt obligations are, what kind of down payment you're thinking of, what your budget is, because it all really kind of jives and works together and we want to find that sweet spot. So for this client, the sweet spot was let's put less money down, mm -hmm. free up more cash flow because we live, your first couple years living in Colorado 
you do what? You do have to make sure that you're on a bit of a budget. And most of us are on a fixed income, let's yeah. be honest. Yeah. And there's a ton of stuff to do. So yeah. you're going to be out and about exploring. And, you know, some of that obviously does come with a little bit of a cost. So the more cash flow we have, the more fun and less stressed we all can be. So now that we've really looked over everything, Bob, what was the end result? The end result was pretty slick. So we did a 30 year mortgage product that $870 cash flow savings a month, we showed our clients how to allocate $200 a month towards their principal payment, which reduced their mortgage to a little bit less than 25 years, saving them a boatload on interest over a regular 30 year mortgage. Then we took the variance, the, the remaining $670, and showed them how they could put that into an investment account each and every single month at a very, very you know, nominal yield of about four to six percent. And that would have netted them in 30 years, $670,000 of extra oh cash, extra just basically net worth for them doing nothing different than what they forecasted with their initial home purchase budget. Now that's pretty amazing because like Bob said, out here in Colorado, there's so much to do. And with the grandkids, I know where that money will probably be going. <laughs> totally. So of course, at this point in time, if you haven't already, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps the channel grow. Now make sure to check out our other videos and we will be dropping that free mortgage calculator so you can see what your payments are going to be. Yep. So check out the link in the description. We have a free calculator that you can kind of mess around, do your own mortgage calculations, whether it's for purchase or refinancing. Take advantage of our home buyer course that we have, which is called the ultimate home buyer experience. Because really what it comes down to is we want to give you guys the knowledge, the information to really make educated decisions in the field so that you're not stressed out in one of the most fun, exciting times of your life. Yeah, it really is. Buying a home, selling a home is a journey either way. But buying a home, let's be honest, I love finding dream homes for my clients. It's going to be a little stressful, but the, the more information and knowledge that you carry up front, the easier it's going to be, I promise. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Katie Zaromsky with Zaromsky Realty Group. Snoop around the channel and enjoy those great, wonderful Colorado sunny days. Take care, <laughs> y'all.